And a week from today, back on the ground, <laughs> one of Hamilton's biggest events is returning the director of Supercrawl. Tim Potisic joins us now with what to expect. And you were telling me in the break, this is going to be the biggest yet. Very likely, yeah. We're expecting the crowds to ramp up a lot faster than normal afternoons to be a lot more dense than they have in the past and uh, obviously the evenings will probably be uh, crazy busy. Yes, so, yeah. because it's the first time since the pandemic that people are going to be allowed to flood into James Street North again. Yeah, no restrictions, no rules and back down in the urban center. So really excited for it. Yeah. OK, it's all about music and about art. Let's go over some of the big acts that you brought in for music this year. Yeah, again, it's very diverse. Um, it's an eclectic group of things and I try to like position the weekend so that there's something for everybody. Um, Friday is like we have some, you know, big rock acts, some local ones um, from Southern Ontario. So excited about that. Dirty Nil and JJ Wild. Uh, we have uh, Lido uh, Pimienta on RB stage, who's like a Spanish type of artist. It's going to be much, much different than the rock side. Mm -hmm. um, on Saturday, we have uh, a, um, a ton of obviously local artists as well that are supporting all of the headline acts that, through the days on every day. Uh, but Saturday night, uh, Charlotte Day Wilson, Toronto uh, based artist, um, she was in Olympic. Uh, hockey player uh, prior to being a musician and uh, so I'm really excited to bring her to Hamilton she's never played Hamilton before so should be great um, who else do I have Tim Baker from Halifax who's coming in to be our B stage headliner and then on Sunday we're uh, topping it off with the uh, Hamilton superstars which is just a super group of like local Hamilton musicians that are gonna headline our B stage and then on the main stage we have Sarah Harmer that's just awesome. And, and do you find that the draw of Supercrawl now that people know about it across the country and probably across North America, they want to come to Supercrawl. They want to perform. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, now I'm like shooing people away at this point, which is fantastic because at the beginning it was, uh, it was a, the other problem was yes. like, please come. Come on, come to Hamilton. <laughs> this is Play a downtown fantastic Hamilton. Seg and yeah. people were like, what? Uh, I don't know. And then, of course, the, you know, times have changed. Things have changed. Hamilton's a much better place than it was, you know, 20 years ago. Still good 20 years ago. Ago, but different in the downtown yes. uh, things have come back so yeah people are very excited artists really love to come to Hamilton and perform okay and let's talk about art that you can see as well because yeah. it's gonna be all over the place yeah uh, we have some very interesting art installations this year. We have our two murals uh, that we've uh, put up on buildings downtown. So they're up by uh, James and Wilson area and they're kind of, um, now we have another, a second mural on a building and you can kind of see them both in tandem with one another. So it's kind of an interesting experience. And then down the street further, we have um, uh, some indigenous artists that have put together films and we're like buckling them all together. So we have six films that'll be on a huge screen and that will be, that will be running all day long and you can they're shorts so you can come watch the films and then we have um, Brandon Vickard it's, it's kind of my favorite thing so I've been waiting hopefully trying to get this but he has like an astronaut space themed installation piece that has three pieces and it all has to do with space um, very relevant with things that are going yes, on you know, Artemis, these yes. days yeah, in space so uh, I'm really excited to have that on the street and I don't want to give away too much um, because it's just it's really cool. It's going to be a rocket launch on no James Street North. No rocket launch, no pyro. <laughs> at least I, don't, I haven't been told. So fire department, if you're listening, if it happens, I didn't know. Um, but no, it's mostly just uh, installation pieces. But you know, um, and it's interestingly all free. planned, all free. Yeah. All free. Okay, we've got about 45 seconds left. Yeah. But advice for first timers, if you've not been to Supercrawl, how do you get there? Uh, well, I mean, it's pretty easy. I always recommend if you're coming from the west, stay on the west because j the closure is 18 blocks, so it basically cuts the city mm -hmm. uh, down the middle. So if you're on the west, stay on the west. If you're on the east, stay on the east. Don't try to come across the city. Um, so find your parking on the east. Lots of surface lots okay. that you can park in. Yep. Um, take HSR, Transit. take Metrolinx, take a Sobe. You know, uh, bike down, walk down, McMaster, tons of kids okay. in Mohawk. We've run out of time, but Tim, oh. great luck on <laughs> okay. uh, break a leg. <laughs> Try to be fast.